G'day everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we're finally painting the Bogan bus. Get keen for this because it's going to be sick. Now before we actually go ahead and start sanding, there's a couple of things that we do need to tidy up. We do need to actually fit the, the snorkel, like refit it. It was fitted previously, but we did patch that hole. So we've got to refit that. I've got to take off all the door locks, the handles. And we are actually painting the whole door jam as well. So we do need to make sure all this is scuffed back enough so that we can paint it. And the color that we're actually going is something that you guys have never seen before. So I'm very excited to show you guys that. Most of you already know that we are doing Raptor. I'm gonna be shooting that out of a normal paint gun. So like a top loading gun. And that's gonna give us that fine texture and not that blobby texture that most people get with Raptor. I think that looks a, a thousand times better. It sort of just looks like paint where the other way you spray it with their gun, it just looks like bed liner. Yeah, we've got a massive day ahead of us. It is early morning at the moment. So I'm gonna start taking off all the door locks and handles and get that sort of ready. Then when Harry gets here, we can actually start fitting the snorkel. We can do its final rub back. Then we can get ready for the paint. So hopefully we can finish this off today because I'm sick of looking at one, two, three, four, five different colors. Might even actually have to come up with a different name because it won't be that bogan anymore. Brother Harrison has rocked up. G'day mate. He actually got a tooth out on Friday night, so he can't really talk too much. So we're just gonna quickly do this snorkel hole now. So that way when we paint, we've got a nice clean edge. Um, everything will be painted and rust protected. I reckon the trick with a snorkel is to try and follow your A pillar as much as possible. I see a lot of snorkels that are sort of kinked off to the side like that, and it just doesn't look good. Um, so hopefully we can get the hole cut to the point where the snorkel is actually following this pillar up perfectly. The snorkel's just kind of made a little bit weird, but we've had to like oval that hole a little bit. And then you can see it just never was built to be square with that pillar. So my trick has failed. This bracket is sitting as flat as we can get it. That's just how it sort of has to go without hitting the gutter up there. From this angle here, it doesn't look bad, but I think from the front here, it just sort of looks a bit funky because it just kicks off to the side, but we've made that gap down there as nice as possible. It's not horrible i guess are you happy with it yeah that's fine my shitty welding has um blown a hole through here i noticed it was a bit weak so i've pushed it so i'm just going to quickly patch this up with the welder so i'll quickly patch that and you can quickly start sanding <laughs> So that is the snorkel hole completely done. Now it's not perfect, obviously it wasn't ideal doing that sort of patch, but it's near close and Barry is uh, happy with that. What we're doing now is we're just going around scuffing up all the areas basically that the orbital couldn't get to. Pulled out all the rubber up inside of here. He doesn't have the plastic things here either, so all this is gonna have to get sanded. But I've already done right around this picture frame because obviously when you open up the door, you want to see the one color. There's still plenty of sanding to go, like even just there, anything that's shiny needs to get sanded off. So yeah, heaps of work to um, keep going and yeah, well, hopefully we can get a lick of paint on it today. If not, we'll have to come back next week. Harry wants to do it today. He's even contemplating just doing a closed door respray just to hurry it up, but it's not the right thing to do, is it Harry? Nope. You want to do it right the first time. So yeah, we'll keep going with this and um, catch up with you in a sec. We are just about ready to start masking this thing up. Harry's just blown it all down. Everything is pretty well ready to go. We're probably gonna paint the car outside today. It's nice to have the panels a little bit hot just to help the paint adhere to the car. What we're gonna do is back her in, back into the shed. We're gonna complete the masking. Bring her in, bar. Diesel. What are you doing, Diesel? Hey. 
days or you like this car, do you? Seats are hell overrated. <laughs> yeah, you don't need seats. So it's a massive, um, a massive achievement to have the sanding done. But obviously another achievement that we need to complete today is doing the masking. So that is going to take longer than we think. It always does. So masking up um, all the back window, all the inside. And then we also have to do basically these windows as well as the door jam itself. So there is quite a bit of masking. Harry reckons it won't take long. I reckon it'll take ages. Oh yeah, good chat, Harry. Thanks for talking, mate. So yeah, let's smash this uh, masking out and then we can lay some color. So our method of masking is actually working pretty well. So what we're doing is just putting a layer of masking tape. Um, obviously sticky side is this side. Then Harry comes along and just lays the plastic and cuts it to size. Basically ends up looking like this. So you can see a nice neat edge and that is ready for painting. We have what, one, two, three, basically almost this side complete. And we're not actually gonna do all up inside here or inside of this door. We're basically closed door in the back of it because you, you pretty much never see in there. And um, Harry's probably gonna just get some gray rattle can paint one day and just go through and do that bit. So yeah, I'd say we're about 40% of the way through. Harry's um, speeding through it. Go Harry. Get him Harry. Go get him boy. I don't like this car at all. I actually really hate it. Just taping up the last of this dog getting it ready to um, spray it down with Ferrari Red. So we're pretty much ready to go for paint, but we obviously need to wipe the surface down. So we're just gonna use wax and grease remover, a couple of thousand rags and um, a spray bottle. Spray it all down, wipe it down. You do that step completely last because um, obviously if anything lands on it, it's gonna stay there, especially with Raptor. So yeah, you keen butter? Keen butter. Yeah, butter. Ready to bloody spray, finally. Harry actually only bought it to me to paint it. He didn't realize that we were gonna do all the roof. <laughs> it's been like, what, four weeks, five weeks? Five. So yeah, finally getting there, but it's all worth it when you, um, when you take these little steps, it just makes the whole job a thousand times better. He was literally just gonna fiberglass the holes and give her a lick of Raptor and then send her out glass house, but now she's gonna be a garage queen. So yeah, we are pretty well set up now. I've got the air compressor out. Um, I did actually just dial this into 50 psi. I'm going to try that first. We can always lower or raise it from there. I've got my table set up for basically mixing. Um, got the special pink uh, color code here, the tint. So yeah, it's going to look it's going to look good. What I'm going to probably do is just mix up one liter into here. Now I'm going to thin it 10%. So I'm going to do. 100 mil of the color, 10% of thinner into the mixing container, and obviously enough hardener to mix it. And then we are basically ready for our first coat. This is where we let everyone know, Harry. No. This is where we let them know, or do we black and white the camera? Yeah. No, black and white it. Black and white the camera. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh that color's sick. Ooh, that color's mad. Never seen that. Maybe it's black and white, you guys can't see it. <laughs> Get in on that colour. Oh, ha, ha. That's the brightest pink I've ever seen. Hmm. That's literally the brightest pink I've ever seen. Snap out of the black and white. The colour we're going is the exact same as Cole. <laughs> Harry wants the same colour. We're all going to be rolling around. Because Jesse, he's been on the channel before, he painted his car grey as well. There's going to be three of us rolling around, dark grey. I think it's sick. Um, yeah. We're all going to be matching. We got the paint code for him, so it's literally going to be exactly the same. A little bit um, heavier texture, I'm going to hit it, because mine's a little bit weak when you scratch it and all that. We won't talk about that. So the Bogan bus is going grey. 
Um, that was the colour the whole time. He's all, he's all thought it was hot pink, didn't you? It's going to be sick when we go full driving. Jesse in the same car. Everything set, like the fan and the paint, everything set to maximum. Got it a fair bit of texture, eh? Like it looks quite good. Yeah. Be the perfect amount, I reckon. It's a little bit more than mine, which should make it a little bit tougher. SD card actually ran out, but this paint turned out insane. Very happy with um, the texture and very happy with like how even it is. My car is actually nowhere near painted as good as this. This is definitely tenfold on my car. My car, you can sort of see kind of streaks on it here and there, but this, I just dialed in the bloody evenness. I was in there tweaking it. I was tweaking Tom it. loving care. I was tweaking it like, like this ones, and then I was getting the pressure and I was like, I'm like, Psh. This is lame. <laughs> Straight beads, baby. Yeah, I was just, eh. Obviously the colors, not much of a change, but Harry and I, even before we had patrols, we both liked the graphite from Toyota. So this color is basically something that we always wanted in a full wheel drive. So it's no, um, no biggie that he's copied. I mean, I'd rather him copy and have the same color that he's happy with than have something that he's actually not happy with. So, so for anyone wondering, it's a 2.4 tip and we thinned it 10% and basically 40 psi and shot from about 30 centimeters away so just dialed it in brother yeah so i think it turned out good it was definitely worth because at one point harry's like no let's just do a closed door but you can see when you open this up it's definitely worth having all your door jams done all your pillars for your doors even down here just everywhere done so it looks like you've actually done a full respray but you've actually done sort of half a respray it looks insane in the sun might be able to get some sun photos next weekend, but yeah, it looks freaking nuts in the sun. The other thing we did is chucked on one of the new Roam Life stickers. So these things are available at roamlife.com. If you want to get one of yours, they're 20 bucks and free postage. So we send them out and um, boys chuck them on and they look sick. Yeah, I think this thing's actually going to turn out sick now. It was a touch and go for a little while, <laughs> but it looks good now. Eight different patrol colors. Yeah. <laughs> And like that that fender hole, that was a nightmare to patch up. I mean, even that still, I'll be honest with you guys, it's still not perfect, but it's um, a thousand times better than what it was. So I'm glad we went down that road, even though it's probably like 10 hours of work just to patch that up. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for tonight. Obviously we just gotta let this sit and dry for a couple of days before we can even sort of start touching it. But all in all, friggin' pumped about this now. It's a bit more motivation, get Harry a bit keen. Start ordering some new parts. Parts are coming. Are they? Will be. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Will be now. <laughs> yeah, def definitely. Like we're try I'm trying to convince him to do um, like some Superflex arms, like mine, and then get some Superior under it because 
you know, we all love Superior. And probably get some 35s, even if they're Chinese tyres like mine, then, I mean, 35s. It's not a daily, so it's... Yeah, it's a weekend car. What matters what tyres are. Right, so our pizza actually just got here, which means tonight is over. We're going to go eat some food because we're starving. I've been going since 7 this morning. It's now 7.30 at night. So thanks all so much for watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the Bogan Bar. Now, yesterday, Harry actually did come over and we fitted his brand new beadlock wheels. We didn't film it because we just wanted to quickly smash it out. But he did actually go the exact same wheel that I just put on Cole but he went the black centers because they were out of the polish. Hopefully you guys like the wheels and the paint. I think it turned out insane. It's a much better job than I've done on my car. Roll on these clips. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks all for watching. Subscribe if you're new and um, maybe hit a like button or something. Anyway, catch us. Jumping in at the end of the video here to let everyone know that we have our stickers back in stock. If you want to get yours, head to roamlife.com and grab one. I appreciate all your guys' support. I think these stickers look sick. We got pink, we got red, we got black, we got white. So get yours, get it on your rig and send us a photo. I'd love to see them.